Hi, this is Matt with Lady Obscure, and we're here with Bill Hudson of Dirk Schneider, among other projects. It depends on when you ask me, I guess. <laughs> so we're here in Worcester tonight uh, for uh, Dirk Schneider playing a basically classic except uh, set. Yeah, it's, uh, it's not as classic as the first part of the tour. That's your girlfriend's phone, by the way. <laughs> so everybody listening knows. Uh, that reminds me to put mine on silence. So I'll yes. be <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, yeah, we're doing we're doing all except, but there's a lot of stuff from the '90s. You know, when Udo got back with the band, they had the album Death Row and uh, Objection Overruled. We're playing stuff like that too. Awesome. But yeah, of course the classics are there. The big songs are there. Of course. But yeah, it's it's all it's all except. Basically. Excellent. So you, uh, how long have you been on this tour now? I know you joined, like, fairly recently. Well, I, I joined the band in March last year, so it's yeah. just a year now. Yeah. Um, this particular run started February 22nd, if I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, the, 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 the whole tour has literally been since September. You know, we did 57 shows in Europe, then we were home for three weeks, and now we did another 40 in America. Uh, this, is, this, is num this is the second to the last one. So it's been a while, man, since yeah. September, basically. So this tour it seems to be going well from everything I've been seeing online. and Yeah. Yeah, it's been going great, man. You know, awesome. it's, uh, especially considering that they've been here a year ago. You know, and the U.S. is obviously not the shows are not as big as they are in Europe or no. anything like that. But considering the market and how many bands are touring and all that, it's been great. Awesome. I have not, no complaints. Great. So um, first, the thing I wanted to ask you about is this new project that you have going. Okay. Uh, power metal band mm -hmm. with uh, Christian from X uh, Twilight Force. Great. How long? Did, uh, how long ago did that uh, end up coming about? That's a that's a funny story that involves Prague Power actually. Yeah, yeah. And uh, I basically I you know man I I've, I've been the past three years well no 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 no. In the, in the past three or four years, I've been making a name by playing guitar for other people. Sure. You know, always like, um, there's always a, a metal god standing next to me on stage, <laughs> which is awesome because I get to play big shows and a lot of people get to know who I am, but yeah. like nobody knows really what I sound like. They just know I play like Chris Oliva. Yes. You know, that's, that's what people say. I'm like, well, I want to do some of my own shit. I um, hear you. So, but the thing is, since the beginning, I've had problems with singers, man. I've worked with the best singers in the world. Oh, yeah. Right? Like, in TSO, I had the opportunity to, to play with Jack Scott Soto, with, with Russell Allen, Zach Stevens, all these guys. But I could never find that one singer that, that I can write music with and the guy is in a flake, you know. Mm. So I met Christian this summer in... Uh, in Sweden, uh, we were doing the Sabaton Open Air Festival, and I met I met him there. They were they weren't playing, but but you know they're friends with those guys, so they were there. Yeah, they were all there. Um, and you know we hung out a lot. And and at the end of the day, I'm like, dude, if I met you ten years ago, you and I would have made history. Yeah. You know, like like you are the singer that I've always wanted. He has the look, he has the voice, he has the attitude. Yep. I'm like. How hasn't how hasn't a bigger band snagged you yet? You know? Yeah. Well, but tw but at that point, Twilight Force was doing pretty good. They were everywhere. Yep. And they they are still on the way up. You know, but but like. I was like, well, you're good, you know, where you're at, and I'm good where I'm at. You know, maybe someday we can do something together. So I had I had these songs that I had decided to release as solo album. They're power metal songs, but they have, like, vocals, you know? Yeah. Again, uh, I, I, I tried many singers, many, many singers, many well-known singers, too. And, like, you know, guys that, like, Prog Power crowd would recognize very easily. But, yeah. like... None of them seem to nail the songs. None of them. Uh, I spent about a thousand euro with like hiring people and be like, no, you're the guy. I'm gonna pay you. And it, fuck, no, no, that's not <laughs> it. But I paid already. Whatever, you keep the money. <laughs> then Christian, um, I mean, Christian was like, well, let me take a stab at the songs. And I sent him the songs, and he emailed me back the next day. I'm like, you're the guy. Yeah. I didn't. You didn't need any direction. I didn't, I didn't need to tell you how I wanted anything. He just sang the exact way I had it in my head. Awesome. So, 
at that point, I was going to hire him to sing on my solo album. Yeah. And it, that's all it was going to be. And then we met at Proud Power. We spent that entire time together. They had already, they had come from Japan where they played with my first band, Salador and Power Class, which yep. was the band I was playing with. Yep. So they were all like kind of friends. I, I hung out with the whole band the whole time and I made jokes to the band. I'm like, you guys are not careful, I'll steal your singer. <laughs> you know, I told them all the time. Oops. Like, you know, like, you know? <laughs> But like I don't know, two weeks later I see on the internet that they they broke up. Yeah. I'm like I couldn't tell. I was with them the entire time. You know, I other than saw the it pool, too. Yeah. the pool area hanging out, other than the venue, I you know the whole time just seemed like things were great. I'm still friends with the band. You yeah. know, like but it's just like okay. So I just texted Christian. I'm like, you know that you're not available, right? Like, <laughs> for any bands that try to hit you up, like, you can tell them that you're not available. Exactly. Or, then he, he got back to me, and he already had the drummer, which, if, oddly enough, me and Patrick also had talked about being in the band together years and years ago. Many, mm -hmm. many times we talked about it. But again, who's going to sing? He's yeah. always, you know, who's going to be the singer? Yeah. Um, and then... Me and Christian met again in Sweden already after we had the band idea when I played with Der Schneider over in, uh, in Stockholm. And he told me about the bass player, Michael, you know, his friend that also went to the States and, and, spoke, uh, and I went to MI and, you know, spoke perfect English. I'm like, well, <laughs> great, you know, like, that's kind of how it took place. But it all started from me meeting Christian at this festival, you know? Yeah. And, the thing is, <coughs> also, like, power metal seems to be making a comeback. Yep. But every band is trying to do the same thing, and that's where I think the mistake is. There's only room for one Twilight Force and for one uh, Glory Hammer. Yes. Any other band that tries to be the new Rhapsody is now going to be under those two. You yep. know, it's just not going to be as good. Yeah. What we're trying to do is different. We're not trying to be the new reps on you. We're trying to be the new Stradivarius, you know? Like, <laughs> like, we're trying to be the new, like, Halloween when in Keeper of the Seven Keys. Yes. Like we're, we're try, like, we're trying to write, you know, think of, like, a way to describe our music to any metal fan is, like, Gamma Ray in Land of the Free, Halloween, Keeper 2, Stradivarius in 1998. I'm that, sold right now. You know, <laughs> That's that. That's what we want. It's just one guitar and a keyboard. You know, like also something I haven't seen anybody do in a while. You yeah, know, like yeah. the keyboard and guitar dueling is, is normally two guitars. Yep. So I'll, I'll pay you right now we, for it. I'll, I'll give you the oh, money for my copy right now. Dude, I you know I it's the, the, the truth is you know my entire career I've 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 tried to do things that are successful you yeah know, like I, I've always looked at the money or uh, you know what band is playing the big stages and all that mm -hmm. but the truth is I need to listen to, to play some music that I like to listen to and yeah. that's what I like to listen to yeah and the funny thing too is most if not all of the musicians that I show of my demos they all have to say the same thing they're like oh you should be a little more modern and I'm always like why yeah why why do you want to fit the market? Yeah. You know, why? Like, this style of music was good when it was because nobody was trying to fit any market. Toki was a weirdo, you yeah. know? Like, like Toki was a weirdo and his music appealed to weirdos like me. You yeah, know? yeah. It's like, so I, wanna, I want my music to appeal to other weirdos. I don't want to play breakdowns when I'm singing a happy chorus, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, yeah, our music is happy, it's melodic, it's high-pitched. There's a lot of fast guitar you know, oh, you should play, you should play slow. No, if you think it's too fast, your ears are too slow. You're too old. <laughs> you know, no, there's no too fast. Yeah. You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna. You know, this, this is what we're gonna do. Oh, but you shouldn't try. I get that too. You shouldn't try to fit in one genre. You shouldn't say it's power metal. No, it is power metal. Yeah. Because when I say it's power metal, you know what you're gonna hear. Like, if I say, oh no, you know, we're just a traditional metal band, and then you listen to it, oh, it's a power metal. Band. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, no, it's power metal. It's very, it's like I'm trying to come with Timo Toki's dick. Is what I'm trying to do. You know, it's like, that's what it is. Yeah, it's it's one of those things where as soon as you start listening to the business side, yeah, it loses its passion, and you know, oh, you have to add modern elements to sound like 
you know, it to appeal to different man. crowds. It, it doesn't, it doesn't, you know, I've been a musician, a professional musician now for 12 years, like we were yeah. saying. Like, for 12 years I've toured the world, I've seen bands, and I am yet to see one case, one of a band that said, we're going to get together and make this commercial music that we hate. And it's gonna work because people are stupid. It's never worked. No. For anyone. No. Nope. Anyone. But it's amazing how many musicians actually say that, that they're gonna try that. Yeah. You know? It's like, oh man, you know this gen thing is going on. Well, why don't we just start a gen band? Because it's not gonna be as good. No. Because how do you, how do you write music you don't like when you hate it enough? You yeah. know, it's like, oh, this really sucks. I think it's ready. Exactly. You know? It's like a cover band it's, playing yeah, music like, that they hate just different. for money. See, I play a lot of music that I don't necessarily like, but I didn't write it. Yeah, it's, exactly. It's different. It's like, it's, it's like I'm listening to what someone plays and I'm repeating it. That's one thing. Yeah. To say you can write music to appeal to a certain market without liking it, it's ridiculous. Nobody can do that. Nobody I, can do that. I would totally and, agree with you. You know, and uh, it's it's... I think it's time after after touring with all these people that I do something that I that I feel you know, yeah like music that I feel and to the people that you know well, oh it's more modern or it's too happy I get that too oh it's so happy sounding well I'm a happy person yeah. fuck you you know why what's I wrong play, with the happy I am metal morbid. talk about being happy you know I don't have to prove to anybody that I'm happy I play with David Vincent already yeah know, exactly so. speaking but, of which that's yeah. a nice segue um, so I am morbid. Uh, How's that going yeah, so that's, far? Dude, that's another band that's starting to get a lot of traction that we didn't expect. But again, same thing, you know, I'm playing someone else's music. Yeah. You know, I'm expected to to cater to that audience and I do my best to do that, you know. Mm -hmm. But I mean I have to say and I I don't even have a problem saying this on an interview, uh, that that's the band I enjoy playing with the most because everybody's my friend mm -hmm. and they were friends before. Yeah. You know, like like we uh like with Udo, yeah, we developed a friendship. We've been working together for a year, but I didn't know any of those guys before the tour. Yeah. Now I am morbid. I've been friends with literally every every one of those guys for ten years or more. So know? it's cool to be able to like yeah. hang out with your friends and yeah. play music. And... Man, there's never stress. You know, we're on the road. You know, if you get on someone else's nerve. Because they're your friends, they'll come up to you and tell you, hey, don't do that, instead of having the tour manager communicate. You, you oh, know, you yeah. know it, <laughs> it's a whole different dynamic. You mm -hmm. know, it's like it's it's work the same way. You still have David is still the leader of the band, and we have to still make David look good. But you know, but he'll sit with us and jam and hang out and. It's a it's a different thing. I love playing with Iron Maiden. I'm not, you know, I, I don't lie and say I'm a big death metal fan because I'm I'm not. Yeah. You know, I don't I don't. I did not grow up with Morbid Angels music, but but I have developed a friendship with David over the years and an appreciation for the music. Great. You know? So it's not it doesn't touch me as much as uh, Gamma Ray does. Yeah. yeah. But but it's it, it's something I really enjoy doing. You know, I, I that's probably right now what I like to do the most. You Excellent. know, like like personally. Awesome. So when um, when this tour is over, I know Udo has uh, an album in the can, but you're not involved with that. Oh, are you? Yeah. Excellent. I am. I recorded the album. I uh, I I did some writing, but not enough. To, uh -huh. to call it any and call any of it my songs. Okay. Just like hey, this solo part instead of B minor, let's go to D minor. Oh, okay. That kind of thing. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, but but I was there in the writing process. They they just had the songs ready. Excellent. But I played I played a couple of solos. I didn't play. I probably played half the solos. Uh huh. Mm. Awesome. But yeah, that's I'm all. Forward to that too. And that's coming out next year, or is it this I, year? I think it's August. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Sure is August. Looking forward to it's that been too. Done for a minute too. Fantastic. So I guess in closing, I'd probably want to uh, ask uh, if you were to think of one tour that you would like for the new power metal band, which doesn't have a name, even though you have like a million suggestions from yeah. fans on Facebook. Yeah. Uh, if you were to think of one band you'd love to tour with, who would that be? Like a headliner? Like. 
well, opening up for. Well, you see, in power metal skates, that's almost too easy. I want to yeah. <laughs> open the pumpkin. I already knew you were... <laughs> but and the, the funny thing is, I actually told Kai Hansen that. Yeah. I, uh, I was, he came to see us in Hamburg, and me, him, and his girlfriend, Tonka, who's a good friend of mine who went to this bar afterwards, and Frodo was there too. Oh, Frodo. And then, and then I started telling him about the band, and I played some, like, on my phone. But, like, you couldn't tell, it's a bar. Because, yeah. You know, but I'm like, you know, uh, I would love your help. He's like, oh, I'll help you. I'm like, you can start right now. Get us to open for Halloween. <laughs> you know, he's like, oh, I can't do that. That's, yeah, that, that's a, you know? a but good try, I though. I don't know if there was, if there was something like, I would love to tour... Like, like realistically like with someone like Stradivarius you know or like Ed Guy or some band like that I think that I think it would fit you know awesome I uh <coughs> we'll, we'll see um there's already there's already been talks with a few bigger bands who are close enough to me that I played the demos and they said you know once it's ready we'll take you out awesome so we'll you know we'll we'll, we'll have some news soon about well that. uh for the new the new uh, unnamed power metal project, we will be looking forward to hearing more about that. Yes. And uh, getting a name finally, which if you have a if you have a suggestion, <laughs> email us at oh fuck is it new oh yeah it's newbcontest at gmail dot com again newbcontest b as in balls <laughs> uh, newbcontest at gmail dot com. And send us your name. If we pick the name that you sent, you get, I think it's le- guest, li- lifetime guest list. I don't know. You should get a lot of things. So yeah, just, know, just know if, if we pick the name that you, that you send us, you, you'll be cool in our book. You'll be at every tour. If you're a hot girl, we'll even talk more. <laughs> but if, but that's probably... Uh, I want, I'll take a refill. Diet, right? Yeah. Your voice is in an interview. Just yeah, you're in that. an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I'll edit that out. <laughs> That's because we are at uh, We're, Uno, Uno's, Chicago yes. Real here in, in one of, one of only two restaurants in downtown Worcester that we can go to. Yeah, and the other one had way too much shit in the <laughs> so, Well, Bill, I would uh, just like to say thank you for taking the time out. Oh, and, yeah, man, uh, thank you for the interview. Absolutely. So uh, we will hear back, hear from you soon about all these exciting new uh, projects. And yeah, hopefully by the time this is on, somebody will have heard a song. Excellent. Cool. So this is Matt from Lady Obscure, and uh, you've been listening to an interview with Bill Hudson. Bye. Thanks.